にちは、ドクター。あ、邪魔しに来たわけではありませんよ。私は、えっと、勉強に、はい、勉強に来ました。ガビルさんはもうこちらに来ていますから。私も一人で故郷に残るわけにはいかないでしょう。Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Tomimi, a 5 star well physical target caster. Tomimi is a caster that specializes in physical damage, adding up more physical DPS to a team. She can provide DPS while also provide some stun to enemies at the same time. She is a very decent addition to your team. Let's talk about Tamimi's talent. Tamimi's talent, Art of the Wild, is a talent that is already available once you get her. Her talent allows her to upgrade her attack up to 120% while also convert her attack fully to physical damage, which is a good addition if you need physical damage. However, after activating the skill, her range decreases her significantly to super attack of skill range and she won't be able to damage playing enemies after that. Let's move on to her first skill, Tribe Skill. This skill allows Tomimi to increase her attack speed up to 90 points. This is a good skill if you want rapid physical damage to your enemies. I personally find this skill much more consistent than her second skill. Now let's take a look on how this skill performs. Now let's move on to her second skill, Protection Plan for Gavial. Yes, <laughs> you hear that right. <laughs> this skill allows Tomimi to become a DPS and card control operator at the same time. Tomimi has up to 100% for her to trigger one of the following effects, stun, AoE damage, or increase damage to 220%. This is a good skill for you if you want DPS and stun respectively. This skill does not benefit much until you enter the skill because the skill trigger chance at M3 is increased to 100% while below that you will still face some failing RNG, which is not that ideal. Anyhow, let's take a look on how this skill performs. Before we get to the cons, which there's a lot of them, I would like to say that Tomimi is pretty good if you have a debuffer or a buffer with you, preferably Kramanix, Shamar, or Wafferin. Without them, you will find her very underwhelming. Aside of that, she is very decent on bossing and I actually have some fun using Tomimi to do some bossing routines as both S1 and S2 are very viable to do so. I also use her as my main DPS on CE5 and not gonna lie, she is actually nailing it. I personally find that her first skill is so much better than her second skill because it's very consistent and the damage output provided from her first skill is very rapid. Now to the cons. 
What makes Tomimi so limiting is that her talent alone is already really bad for Tomimi to provide something valuable. Her range makes her very limiting for a ranged unit, especially that on most stages Tomimi can only benefit on one tile as a ranged unit on most stages. Although for the range, you can use blockers to help with this matter or if not, you can also use push and pull specialists to do so. You also have to remember that Tomimi can't attack flying enemies when the skill is activated. It's like she wants to become a guard, but she's on higher ground instead, which is very limiting to even attack ground enemies. Now for the damage conversion, I wouldn't say the damage conversion is bad, but at the same time, it's kinda disappointing because you invest so much on her, but the range makes her usage very limiting. If she has more range, like maybe like Executor's range, then I would use her way more often. It's also worth to note that casters are widely viable on late game contents because most enemies have high defense, but Tomimi's case is different because she can use arts damage when the skill is activated. Secondly, her second skill is very RNG. If you ask me if her second skill is worth the investing, then my answer is no. But again, if you really want to fully benefit on her second skill, then you have to upgrade the skill to Mastery 3, because if you don't, you will face even more RNG by having chances that the skill will fail to provide you with the effects that the skill will give. And even if you already upgrade the skill to Mastery 3, you will still face RNG whether she will provide increased attack, AoE damage, or stun. The skill itself is strong if RNG is at your side, but if it don't, then you will find yourself failing a lot on high-end content using Tomimi's second skill. It's really hard to justify that Tomimi is a good operator because her overall kit is just really weird in my opinion. I personally find Flamebringer is so much better to invest than Tomimi. By the time I'm recording the footages, it's really hard to give best setup to show Tomimi's best points and I'm struggling on where I can even use her effectively because there are so many better options than her. With that being said, I don't recommend investing on Tomimi. If you still want rage physical damage to move on the same rarity, then Platinum is a really good choice for that. But if you really like Tomimi, then of course, go ahead and do so. However, there is actually even worse operator than Tomimi in my opinion, and if you want to know more about that operator, then make sure you stay tuned on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more of me, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Thanks to my supporters, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe everyone, peace out. Shoot.